Alright, what's up folks? So there's been some debate in the chat about sea spray. <sighs> I don't even know why this is still up for debate, but let's go ahead and hop into a zone 12 uh, base here. So as far as gunners go, the number one gunner in the game is Skyburst. That's because... She does a ton of damage with her regular ability without using a single ability point. She can still use her ability, which is really cheap, to finish off some defenses uh, that your other bots can't finish off or whatnot. So it's a cheap way to finish things off. But her regular attack is by far the best in the game. And she just freaking does a ton of damage each time she's out on the field of battle. So let's see, we have some level 9 mortars. I was hoping for level 10 mortars at least to demonstrate this, but I guess I'll have to settle for level 9 mortars. Um, behind C uh, Skyburst, I have Jazz, and then Sunstreaker, and then Sea Spray. Alpha Bravo after that, then Prowl, and uh, so on and so forth. This, everybody wants to argue that, oh, Sea Spray is not as good as Alpha Bravo Prowl. Well, I'm going to show you why you're all wrong. <laughs> Prowl and Alpha Bravo use a ton of ability points to one-hit KO certain defenses, right? Whereas Sea Spray actually uses far less ability points as you see I knock out two mortars and a beam laser if I was using prowl prowl's first ability first shot starts at six right next one is eight next one's ten so you're looking at spending 24 ability points if I wanted to knock out those two mortars and that beam laser whereas sea spray just used um, Crap, I forgot how many ability points it was. Um, five. What does it start at? I think it starts at 4, then 7, then 10. It goes up 3 each time or something like that. So basically I used like 11 or so. I, I, I used less than half. I know that as a fact. Less than half of what I would use with Prowl. Even if you had Prowl and Alpha Bravo on the same team. You use both of their abilities once, that's 12 points, plus another 8 points on top of that, that's still 20 points to take out 3 targets that Sea Spray just wiped out with like 11 ability points. It's just not even, uh, it's not even comparable. It's so, it's such a big difference, I don't understand how people are still even trying to debate it, but it is what it is. Um, there was a perfect example of Sea Spray taking out some level 9 mortars and whatnot. I can two-shot level 10 mortars the same way I two-shotted those level 9 mortars. It's the level 11 mortars where things are still not quite there. Um, my Sea Spray is at level 45. Perhaps if it was, I think I need maybe one or two more levels to be able to two-shot level 11 mortars. It's really freaking simple, though. And basically... You can deploy Sea Spray wherever it takes on the battlefield uh, that'll give them the most effective line of attack. You kind of have to predict bot movement at times if they have their build bots or whatnot out there. Um, but it's just so easy. <laughs> I, people say, oh, it's not wide enough or it doesn't do enough damage. I mean, it does a ton of damage. I, the damage shouldn't even be a, a question. And as far as it's not wide enough, you can hit, if people like cram their stuff side by side, you can hit two at a time as it's moving along and take out twice as many uh, defenses that way. But most people don't clump their bases together like that. So you don't need it wider than what it is. If it was any wider than this, it would be overpowered by far. The fact is the ability, people say, is too expensive. It's actually cheap <laughs> to use for what it does. Um... I saved a ton of ability points by switching to Geico. <laughs> it's 
seriously though, I, I did. I mean, that's a ton of ability points saved as opposed to using Alpha Bravo or Prowl. I, it shouldn't even be up for debate, but it is. And there's one example of it. I had some good examples earlier where um, I caught a guy with two level 10 mortars, a level seven or eight beam laser and an auto cannon as well. And I wiped out all four of them with two shots, which is like 11 ability points four targets three of them are high profile targets you can't beat that the only bot that can do stuff like that is strafe and uh and i'm talking about for ability points star saber can do it but it's going to cost you a ton of ability points for star saber to do it if you do two passes with star saber you've used up a lot of ability points so generally if i'm going to use star saber i usually shoot him out ahead of sea spray and then i'll use sea spray to clean up behind star saber that way i don't have to two shot with the whirlwind in the same direction i can hit two different paths with the whirlwind and take out even more targets by leading with star saber which is still pretty effective uh when you consider how many ability points you're using even when you do use star saber as long as you follow up with a couple of whirlwinds from sea spray, you're going to take out so many targets that it's definitely worth it. Let's see. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and coin these guys. I'll do one more for you. Zone 12 again. And uh, I like leading with sea spray. So usually I'll deploy sea spray first take out a bunch of targets and deploy everybody else. For time traps, it's even better because things are lined up perfectly on time traps. Um, bases like this, you kind of have to finagle like, uh, where is this guy's mortars at? They're all under construction, unfortunately. So it's not going to be the best uh, demonstration. Unless I come from way over here, I can take out this mortar, this laser, and this mortar. Hmm. The mortars are kind of pointless since they're under construction. I don't want to waste ability points on that. So I'm going to go ahead and come from the side. Maybe I can... Oh, he's going after the wrong build bot. Let's see if he turns to the right. Go right. Uh, he's not quite lined up right for this, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot this off anyway. He's going to clip this beam laser the first time. Oh, he did enough damage, I think, to take it out in two shots. I'll drop everybody else. So he took out the beam laser. I might not have gotten the distance on that missile launcher in the back. Nope, he had enough for that too, so that's that. In this case, I'm going to use Star Saber to stun all this stuff. Oh, he didn't stun the beam laser there. I thought he was going to hit that too. That's the funky thing about Star Saber. Sometimes he stuns everything in his path, and sometimes he leaves things like that. I don't know if it's just out of his path or whatnot, but didn't work out that time. Um... Once again, though, I mean, it's pretty much a wrap at this point. There's five more bots on the field. I'll deploy my little mini bots. I do have Optimus Prime up there. I can pull the rest to the base after they get enough ability points. And that should be it. The two of them should be able to finish it off. I'll fast forward. That one was kind of a boring base. I want to get some level 10 mortars in here so you guys can see what Sea Spray is capable of. Because I don't want any doubts about his power or whatever. People saying, oh, well, those were only level 9 mortars. He can't do that with level 10. Like, like Black Metal's been saying, oh, he can't do this, he can't do that. But I have showed you guys him doing exactly those things. And here again, he's doing it again. He can easily two-shot this stuff. Uh, black metals is actually stronger than mine. If he just leveled up the ability, he could be two-shotting level 10 mortars, maybe even level 11 mortars at this point. So, I hate using up this many coins, but I'm going to do it anyways.
Level 12, or Zone 12. Alrighty, come on, level 10 mortars. Come on, time trap base. Give me a time trap base. I want to show how he works on that, too. Weed Master. <laughs> uh, not a time trap base. But we do have some level 10 mortars. Kind of not lined up the way I like. So what I will do is... I'm going to go ahead and deploy him. He should go to this auto cannon. If he goes up towards that auto cannon, it should line up for this mortar and this mortar. Now, the only thing that might hit, cause a problem is this beam laser. The auto cannon is going to hit him. The beam laser is going to hit him. He does have more health than uh, other gunners, so he might be able to get by. Um, Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to deploy Star Saber with him. That way Star Saber can take the brunt of the damage. It's funny how they don't walk in a straight line anymore. They kind of go up and to the side. Oh. Well, he doesn't quite have the range to hit that second mortar. So that could be a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send Star Saber out here. I'll let Sea Spray finish. Oh no. Okay, well, that didn't go the way I planned. Alright, well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take out everything on this side. Bring out the rest of my bots. I'm going to throw his second ability in this direction. He's going to hit one mortar at least. So as you see, he cleans up behind Star Saber rather nicely. Uh, he cleared that path that Star Saber hit. He's going to most likely take that mortar out as well and do some damage on that back one. It was just a little bit out of range, so he couldn't quite get to it. Now, if Optimus Prime wasn't a retard going up the middle, if he would have went to the right like everybody else, I could have pulled everybody to the headquarters. So in this case, I'm not even going to bother with Optimus. I'm just going to use Sea Spray again to keep doing damage on this side. Boom. Okay. These bots up here should be able to take out the headquarters easily enough. So, anywho, as you can see, he is pretty damn effective. Um, you know, I might even do one more round. I'm really hoping for a time trap base here. But even there, I used his ability like four times, and still, with all of the uh, defenses he was taking out, it's totally worth the ability points. It just doesn't make sense to use bots that only hit single targets when you have bots that can hit and take out multiple targets. It just, like Sunstreaker, Jazz, Strafe, and Sea Spray, those four right there, those are the, the ones right there. They, they just do a ton of damage. And to uh, multiple targets. It gets pricey on ability points for... Um, for some of them really fast. Uh, let's see. Offhand, I can't think of what all of them start off at, but they definitely get pricey uh, as far as ability points go. But the fact that they take out multiple targets goes a long way. Now, the thing about Sunstreaker and Jazz and Strafe... You, well, with Strafe, if you have a bunch clustered together, he might not even take everything out in two passes, depending on what how many targets there is. Usually it takes two passes, though, to take everything out when they have four or more bunched together. Oh, here we go. This is semi-time trap. 
gosh, but he's still, he, he's not going to be able to line up with all of these guys. But I can hit laser turret, level 10 mortar, shock tower, missile launcher. I can go that route and then split the base. Let me try that. I'm not sure how this build bot will affect him. He should go for the laser, the laser turret, which he did. So I'm going to go ahead and drop two whirlwinds to take out these four. The shock tower, I'm not sure if he can take out because they have such high health. Um, it looks like it's going to be just shy. So that's okay though. He took out the other targets. As you saw, level 10 mortar, two shotted. Easily enough. Pretty simple stuff here. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Take out that beam laser. <sighs> Fast forward. Yep, those guys are very low on health, so. As long as they can get close to that headquarters, I should be able to pull with OP and done. All right. The interesting thing about this video program is it doesn't tell me how much time I've used. I'm using a new uh, screen capture, or screen recorder. It doesn't tell me how much time I've used up. So it's a little different than the built-in Samsung version. So once again, that's a level 45 sea spray with level 6 ability. Um, once you get level 50 and you crank up to level uh, 7 ability, I mean, it's going to be super devastating. I know he can two-shot level 11 mortars before he hits level 50. Level 12 mortars, I'm not sure when it would be. Um, it'll be after level 50. And I would imagine his ability level, I'm not sure at 6 what, where, he, where it would put him. So, can't really say for sure on the level 12 mortars. On a level level 11 mortars, though, I know right now he's super close to two-shotting him. And one more. <laughs> I'm going to show as many examples of this as I can because I've, I've posted videos before of uh, him and Star Saber in lower zones or whatnot, but I want to show you guys as many of these Zone 12 battles as possible using Sea Spray. And you can all see he's using the first 11 ability points to two-shot several high-profile targets, definitely worth the ability points, um, hopefully after this. It'll just be solidified that he is not a garbage uh, gunner. Like, let's see, who is garbage? I don't particularly care for Smokescreen. Um, he's great for taking out outpost bots, but that's about it. He still counts as a gunner, I guess. So we have some level 10 mortars here. These aren't quite lining up the way I like. I can kind of do a line right here, two auto cannons, a mortar, and beam laser. Same thing on this side. Uh, the problem is going to be these build bots, so I'm going to throw a little curveball to him. Hopefully, I drop. No, now he walked straight up for some reason. He should be walking to the right. 
Ay, 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 I don't know what that's about. So since he messed up my line of attack, now that's the problem with the bot's AI. It's not, it, they're not uh, maneuvering themselves the way they used to. They used to go straight towards the target, so it was easier to predict where they would end up uh, when you dropped your bots. Now they do this funky thing where they like walk up and then over. So they don't take a straight line anymore, and you kind of have to guesstimate where they're going to go. I'm still going to be able to take out these two targets up here. Um, that mortar and beam laser, at least. If I get those two, it's worth 11 ability points by far. You can't kill two high-profile targets for 11 points with Prowl. It takes 14 points. So, And even with a flyer, if you use a flyer, their first attack is 4, then it goes to 6. So it's 10 points to take out two high-profile targets with Jet Fire or Firefly. Whereas it's 11 points to take out multiple targets with sea spray so he's even more efficient than flying bots uh, at that level let's see I'm going to go ahead and hit these two I'm not even gonna worry about that auto cannon next to the mortar right now if I do a little bit of damage to it that's fine I'll drop everybody else behind sea spray here since he's clearing a path Boom, and boom. So once again, now I have a path cleared. I can use Optimus and pull everybody up here to the left. That's a good thing about Sea Spray as well. He uh, can clear paths, so you can basically create a path for your team to walk through. Um, it's the same concept as when you have a time trap base, you split the base and you want your whole team to go to one side or the other and then cross the gap to the top side. Well with any base you can do something similar. You cut a path with sea spray, uh, star saber, whatever, and then you let your bots, drop your bots to the side and they should follow, ooh, I might lose this one. They should follow the the right path. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a smart bomb to help them out here. Optimus probably could have fended those guys off. They didn't have much health left, but I just wanted to be better safe than sorry, as they say. So I'm sure you guys are getting the gist of it. I mean, there's different ways to use sea spray. Like I said, you cut a path, set your team to one side or the other of that path so that way they can follow a different route. Uh, you're basically building a route for them to follow, like I did there. Or you can uh, just use them to take out as many high-profile targets as possible, or even some of the lower profile defenses oh man I shouldn't do any more but one more I don't know I really enjoy using it level 12 no doubts folks no doubts <laughs> so anywho yeah I was saying below sea spray I would put alpha bravo then prowl um they have the same ability, but Alpha Bravo can one-hit things a little bit faster than Prowl. That's the only reason I'd give him the edge. Then I would have like a Mirage and Cliff Jumper lumped together because they both can support guys like Sunstreaker and finish the job. All right, well, here's a level 11 mortar. Um, these others might be a little out of range. Let's see how close he is to taking these guys out. I want to fast forward a little bit. I'm going to fire off his whirlwind now because I don't want him to shoot it with his regular gun and weaken it. I want you guys to see what he does with his whirlwind alone. 
So he's super close to taking out level 11 mortars in two shots. So that was not the optimal way to use him, but I did want to test out what he can do with level 11 mortars. At level 45, level 6 ability, he is so close to taking them out. If he had a level 7 ability or level 46, I think he should be able to do it. So that's not a problem. But I did use 11 ability points just to demonstrate on one target. So with this scenario, I kind of shorted myself for the rest of this match. So I'm going to do what I can. Oh man, that guy could not take out level 11 mortars. I don't have any bots that can one-shot level, uh, level 11 mortars on this team, so all these <laughs> defenses are going to chew into my team right now. And if I can just get Bumblebee's ability close enough to that missile launcher. There we go. <sighs> this is straight desperation now. And that should do the trick. All right. So that should do it. These guys are going to win it for me. Yeah, bet you all thought I was going to lose. No, nope. it's called strategy. <laughs> yeah, man. So Sea Spray's a beast. All the haters can go ahead and cover their heads with their pillows now or whatever. <laughs> uh, I'll keep making videos or demonstrations. I'm going to make an official Sea Spray tutorial at some point for YouTube. This is just for... Uh, our chat purposes since we have haters <laughs> but sea spray is definitely the man or the bot he is a beast um for those of you who actually watched this video all the way through kudos to you because i know it's a long one i have no idea how much time i took but i know it's quite long Anywho, I will catch you guys on the flip side. I'm going to finish off these fuel cells and then head back to work. See ya.